So I can't be the only one who has seen the red flag trend trending all over Instagram and I feel like people are really taking this opportunity to speak about how they feel, throw subtle jabs at folks without actually throwing jabs at folks. In today's video, I wanted to go over some of the natural hair and beauty red flag that I saw that either I agree with or I'm like, mm, slow your roll, slow your roll. <laughs> some of these are relevant to the natural hair community because folks are going back to their roots. Before I talk about the first red flag quote that I saw, um, I'm gonna put them all on the screen here. There have been other natural hair things that people have been saying on the internet, on TikTok, that I'm just like, mm, I don't know about that one. The first one I wanted to talk about is the one that said, you should not let your hair air dry. I was on TikTok and I heard someone say this and I had to do a double take. Like, what do you mean don't let your hair air dry? Their reasoning was your hair is in its most fragile state when it's wet and so you want to make sure it gets dry as soon as possible so there's no damage done. Their result to drying your hair fast was through a diffuser and there was automatic pushback saying, okay, but what about heat damage? I agree to a certain extent. This is actually the first time ever I've heard someone say, don't air dry. Now onto the first red flag that I was just like, so there was a mixture of ones that I saved between business and natural hair, but let's go ahead and start with the natural hair one. Um, I wash my hair with a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner this is a red flag you should not be doing that with your hair i understand if the shampoo is conditioning and can be conditioning but most shampoos are not they're intended to really remove any buildup on your scalp so it's very important that you're picking ones that are not super harsh and then as far as like the two in one conditioning is so important for your natural hair that you should not be using a two in one the next one is not checking the ingredients list this is a red flag not only for natural hair but in all the things that you're consuming it's so easy just to say i'm not gonna look what's in here and use it i do agree with this red flag co-washing my hair and oiling my scalp keeps scalp flake free red flag uh, first off if you're co-washing i do encourage co-washing because like i said shampoo often strips your hair but this is not the only way and the way that you should go to keep your scalp flake free first things first if you are co-washing you should at least be using a clarified shampoo once a month to remove any buildup on your hair and your scalp i encourage this i've preached this all the time the next thing is oil i used to be huge on oil and i used to follow the loc method or the lco method that alone that method alone has its own story that we might say for another time if anything i'm using oil to put on my scalp if it's feeling a little bit more dry but oftentimes dry scalp is telling you something else and so yes it's good and oftentimes i use oil if i am using oil to apply on my scalp right after washing only and on my ends oil is not a moisturizer this one is in combination to the oil i was just talking about i only use coconut oil in my hair Coconut oil is probably the one of the better oils that I have seen using and at one point I was using coconut oil to detangle my hair and to act as like a pre-poo before washing but there are still obviously so much 
negative connotations just around coconut oil but coconut oil is encouraged in one of the few oils that i would say and suggest using if you're going to be using oil on your hair just because of all the benefits it has obviously anytime you are embarking on a journey of any sort it's so important to do your own research everything that you decide to take on the natural hair community is evolving and oftentimes going back to its roots and simplifying what has has become so complicated and i find myself wanting to go back to doing more natural hair videos compared to all other types like makeup and skincare because this is why i started my channel i started my channel to talk about natural hair and to take you on my natural hair journey and embark on this journey with me you seen a red flag that you're like "Ooh, i agree with be sure to leave a comment down below because there are so many so many red flags and i was like "Ooh." subscribe if you haven't already also leave a comment and let me if you like videos like this give this video a thumbs up so i know to continue recording them be sure to check out these two videos here and i'll see you in my next upload Toodles.